I was like everyone else, I was watching this Gulf of Mexico oil spill on the news every day. It was just uh, consuming the news on every channel. And what this disaster at this magnitude did is it exposed that difference in our ability to extract oil and our inability to respond to an accident. And having worked on oil rigs growing up, I got interested in, in what I could do. I'm Thomas Aswell. I am a doctoral student in the College of Natural Resources studying environmental sustainability. Marshes are very critical to Louisiana. They provide a habitat for juvenile fish. They provide storm surge protection from hurricanes and tropical storms. And they provide a way to manage nutrients and toxins that come out of the Mississippi River. When you go out onto the water, the first thing I was noticing on the marshes was that their shorelines were bare, where normally vegetation would be. Now you have dead vegetation and oil. And anywhere that that marsh doesn't have vegetation, it's that exposed shoreline is going to erode. What you see is this sharp drop on the shoreline that is normally vegetated. And, and it would be held in place. But without the live plants on top, because of the oil damage, you're losing the shoreline whenever it changes from low tide to high tide. This part of the marsh is falling off into the Gulf. As you drive through southern Louisiana, every uh, you know, 10, 20 miles, you pass a sugarcane factory. And behind all these factories are these mountains of this waste product called bagasse, which is uh, sugarcane fiber. There's three millions of tons of this piling up behind these sugarcane factories uh, in the state of Louisiana, and no market for it. And what I did is I took that pre-composted bagasse and I put it in um, what's called a sock net with plant material in the form of root masses inserted inside here when you fabricate it. And what's going to happen over time is those roots are going to start to grow. And they're going to grow down into the marsh, and they're going to grow vegetation up out of the top. What it looks like when it's staked is kind of like these fingers. And so what this tube in the back does is going to help to capture that organic material as it comes in with the tidal change. And so now this marsh is regrowing with these growth tubes. It's capturing this organic material, and it's able to maintain that exposed shoreline that it would normally have lost. Yeah, so I hope what my research is doing is um, promoting this idea that there needs to be an investment in oil spill response technology and restoration equipment. Um, that that investment and those technologies need to advance to a point where they are equal to the risks uh, that we take when we're exploring and drilling for oil.